Hi guys, so I'm going to show you how to get this autumn inspired look. So it's mostly orange, yellow, red, and some black to smoke it out. And um, using a awesome lip cream that goes as well. So I have on my base, uh, foundation, highlight, contour. Now I'm using dew drops um, to put on a cream highlight. So I was mistaken, I actually don't. I have my highlight on, I have on just foundation, primer, and contour. And this is just my cream base highlight. So this is Celestial Goddess from Baby Bat Beauty. I'm just putting it on my cheeks, uh, nose, Cupid's bow. Now I'm using orange and black to like shape out my eyebrows so I wanted to attempt like an orange to black ombre eyebrow. Um, ombre eyebrows usually don't work out for me. This is probably one of the few times it actually came out good. So I'm just shaping it out. Um, if you have eyebrows it's actually easier to do an ombre because you can just put the eyeshadow onto your hair. Now I'm just filling in the black parts with some more eyeshadow. Kind of just blending the tips more. Now I'm using Wet n Wild uh, gel liner to fill in the brows. And I'm using a tiny uh, nail art brush. I highly suggest getting a nail brush kit because it has so many tiny um, little brushes that are great for detail if you like doing uh, more creative makeup, I suppose. So now I'm just um, fixing the tips, blending it more, using orange and black eyeshadow to just even it out. I'm using colorless powder from Ben Nye to set my makeup. So just pat that on with a sponge pad and then buff off the excess with a fluffy brush. Now I'm using those two orangey warm toned eyeshadows to use as blush. And I'm using Wet n Wild flat brush to just blend that out more. I kind of just pack it on with the fluffy brush. Now I'm using Starlight Highlighter from Baby Bat Beauty with a little fan brush to just go over the areas I use the cream like base highlight on. Buffing away a little excess there as well. Trying to get some shots out of highlight. Came out pretty good. Now I'm using orange, I mean <laughs> yellow, on my lid. Wow, orange. Yeah. So just covering the lid in yellow. Now I'm using a um, Pro LA Girl concealer to go and clean up the edges of my eyebrows. I don't know why I decided to do this now, um, but yeah, completely forgot about this until later. Now I'm using orange um, in the inner corners.
red next to that orange. Just blending those two. Black on the edge of that, smoke it out. And I'm using a um, large fluffy eyeshadow brush from Wet n Wild to put all of these colors on. Now I'm just going over the yellow and just blending the edges of all those colors I just put on. Going under the eye with orange. And now I'm using white to highlight under the eyebrow as well as just blend the edges of all of the eyeshadow. I recently redyed my bangs. I'm so happy I did. It's so mint colored here. Now they're so vibrant. Now I'm using Spooky Lashes from Fright Night by Ardell. And these are mesmerizing. I think that's what it was and uh, they're they have come with tops and bottoms but I'm only using the tops here and I'm using wet n wild mascara right now so watch me just fill around and put on these eyelashes this is the part of the video I sped up the most I think it's at like eight times speed while the rest of the stuff is like at four or two. I have a hard time with eyelashes. So the strip of these eyelashes were pretty thick. So I use eyeliner to um, hide it. And you'll see what I mean. Here we go. I use Shaney Precision Collection from uh, the Duchess Collection. Um, I don't think these are out yet, but uh, basically just use an eyeliner to blend the strip of the eyelash in. And just using some eyeliner under the eye, doing a straight line, and then using a Q-tip to blend it out. That eyelash is a little wonky. And using Baby Bat Beauty in the color Horizon. This is a metallic lip cream and is such a beautiful, um, I suppose, copper color and it's perfect for autumn. I really wanted an autumn color. And this is the finished look. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.